morning guys it's been a while since I've uh, done this whole camera thing so bear with me if I'm a bit El Rusto so this morning because it is morning I'm heading off the train I'm gonna get back and try Sipstone it's a Monday the 12th of August so the reason for me cracking on with this video is this I need some accountability, some um, reason, some reason, I suppose, yeah, to keep my ass on track towards something. And it's not competing this year, but I do want to get a couple of photo shoots done. It's great for my mindset. It's great for my business. Um, so I'll be daft not to do something, but that's what I'm thinking of doing anyway. So I'm going to give myself an eight-week period I think anything between 8 and 12 depending on how we're looking and what I'm thinking to get sharp not show sharp but considerably sharper than I am now um, I think I'm about 87 88 kilos so I need to get down to low 80s really and yeah show you how it goes on as well as like a few more of the ins and outs of day-to-day -day stuff and some kind of bog standard tutorial stuff that I think will be valuable to you so yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna, I'm not even, I don't even wanna say it, <laughs> that I'm gonna make a good go of this YouTube thing because I've said it a couple of times before and I haven't followed through. So, read between the lines, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how the day pans out then. There's a few things we have gotta get done today. Like I say, we're gonna train now, a few errands to run after that and we'll keep you updated and at some point later today i'll talk you through the kind of strategy going into this 8 to 12 week cut towards the photo shoot speech in a bit Okay, so I thought I'd better give you a physique update just so you know exactly where we're at when we're starting off this uh, this cut down. So weighed in at, I think 88 kilos this morning. Abs are there, but we've got a bit to lose. 
Um, just so you've got an idea what I'm trying to lose. I typically will be on stage at mid 70s, maybe a little bit lower. And photo shoot wise, anything kind of just above 80 is nice for me. I can retain fullness, but um, still be lean enough to obviously look, look the nuts. So yeah, I'm feeling full at the minute, but there is some vascularity. It's not it's not a fucking train wreck, put it that way. I'm not going to stand here and pretend, oh my God, I'm all fat. I'm not. But I would prefer to be leaner for a photo shoot. So that's what we're going to try and do. This is where we are kicking on from. 80, yeah, 88 odd kilos. Very different to the 88 kilos I was at the beginning of the year where um, obviously I'd come back from traveling. Enjoyed myself and yeah, I was the same weight but totally different body composition. Very much uh, carry more fat, not as much muscle. Went through a body recomp kind of phase where brought the muscle back up, lost some body fat, and yeah, we kind of maintained there. So let's see what we can do. <coughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to aim for about eight, just over 80 kilos. See where we're at, but I'm not going to stand here and. Uh, Say, oh my God, I'm so fat. Everyone tell me how great I look. But there is weight to lose and I know I can look a heck of a lot better. So starting point, let's see what we can do. All right then guys, I'm gonna take the opportunity to talk you through how I set up my nutrition when I'm looking to go into a fat loss stage. And this will cross over to be of use to yourself perhaps if you're looking to do a similar thing. Um, we're gonna try and keep it as basic as possible so don't get lost in numbers and boxes and biochemistry, because um, I'll keep it super, super simple. So there's a couple of things we need to know. First and foremost, you need to know what your maintenance calories are, give or take. Maybe not to the absolute calorie, but you need to have a pretty good ballpark figure. So I know for me to stay at my current weight, which fluctuates kind of between 86 and 88 kilos, I need 3,000 calories to keep me at that point. Again, give or take, and that's kind of providing that my activity for the week is stable, um, there's nothing excessive going on. Um, give or take 3,000 calories. So that's the first thing you need to know. Obviously, my maintenance will be different to yours, your difference will be made, your, diff, your, uh, your maintenance will be different to mine. So that's something for you to figure out, whether you just use something like an online calculator to give you um, a number to start with, whether you track a week's worth of food through MyFitnessPal, um, that's the most accurate and the most legit way to do it, and then average out what your calories have been for the week, and then you'll get a daily average from that. Um, and again, that's providing your weight stays stable from day one to day seven. Um, but anyway, that's the first thing you need, maintenance calories. Now, that brings me to this little box here. Now, a pound of fat equates essentially to three and a half thousand calories. Now, we're not gonna get deep, deep into the biochemistry here. One, I ain't the guy to do it. And two, you don't really need to know it when it comes to losing body fat either. But for the sake of easy, basic biochemistry, a pound of fat equals three and a half thousand calories. So we need to burn that in order to lose that pound of body fat. Now, the way that we want to look at this, obviously it's not a short term thing. If you go burn three and a half thousand calories now, you won't necessarily have just burnt off a pound of body fat. So to keep it simplistic, to keep it progressive, and to, like I say, not overcomplicate things and look at things kind of incrementally week by week. The way I do it is figure out what my weekly calories would be based on that maintenance number. So again, we know we're at 3,000 on my maintenance. Seven times 3,000 gives us 21,000 calories. So from that number, my weekly average, I want to take away that 3,500. So take that away, that gives us 17 and a half thousand calories. So in theory, if I stay 
at 17 and a half thousand calories for the week. However, I want to split it up is up to me, but let's say we just want to keep it consistent. If I'm at 17 and a half thousand calories, then in theory, all things being equal, I should lose a pound of body fat because I've created that three and a half thousand calorie deficit over the course of the week. So then that brings you to the position then where you think, okay, well, how do I want to create that? Do I create that by doing more activity? Do I take that three and a half thousand calories away from um, what I'm consuming nutrition wise? So the way I've, I like to do it is a combination of the two. I don't like to go all in on one or the other. So my chosen strategy to begin with, I'm gonna take a thousand calories of cardio through low intensity steady state. So that could be like Stairmaster, incline treadmill, cross trainer, um, anything you like. But I'm gonna burn a thousand calories a week from doing that. And for me, I'll probably break it up into 250, maybe 500 calorie blocks, depending on what, what my week's like. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do with my cardio. So that leaves me still with another two and a half thousand calories to make up. So to do that, the remaining, the remaining remainder of the, of the calories I need to burn, the, the two and a half thousand, that's what I'm gonna pull away from my nutrition for the week. So to do that, I'm gonna go from a 3000 calorie intake down to a 2650 and then Combining the two puts me in a place where I can just about give or take a few calories, meet that three and a half thousand calorie deficit that I need for the week in order to burn that pound of fat a week. So yeah, easy, easy enough maths for you there. So 350 calorie deficit, which is what we're pulling away from 3000 to give us 2650, times that by seven, plus the, well that's what gives us 2450 even, so then add to that the 1,000 from the low intensity steady state, that gives us 3,450. So give or take 50 calories away from being at our 3,500, which is what we need to be at if we're gonna lose that pound of body fat. So I hope that makes sense, but the big takeaway points, find out what your maintenance is. Then you've got to find out, well, you need to have a think actually, how much weight do you want to lose? I like to look at that three and a half thousand calorie deficit for the week because I know it's a pound of fat. Any more than kind of a pound or two a week is kind of overkill if you're not kind of a very big guy or girl. Um, so I like to work with that number for easy numbers and a nice steady deficit to be making that loss. Um, so I would recommend you probably do similar. If I'm, uh, if I'm being honest, but then like I say, you need to just figure out, all right, how much do you want to take away by doing cardio? How much do you want to take away by losing calories and bringing down your intake for the week? That's the way I'm starting it out. That's the way I'm going to do it. Like I say, I may well lose a little bit more in this first week, um, just depending on how much carbohydrate weight I lose, how much water weight I lose. Um, but I'm pretty sure that if I keep to that, we shall see a loss this time next week. So, hope that makes sense. I'll probably leave the video there because it's quite a lot to take on board and I have no idea till I watch this back if it makes any sense. But I hope that kind of gives you a good little uh, insight into how I set things up anyway. Like I say, you can go really deep on the biochemistry and someone can argue with me and say, well, three and a half thousand calories, blah, 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 blah. I'm not here to be a super, super sports scientist. I like sports science. I like knowing some of the nitty gritty, but ultimately, if you can't go and apply it, then it really kind of nullifies it. So know what you need to know, not necessarily so much that you confuse yourself. Um, so we'll go back to the main points. Find out your maintenance, realize what kind of deficit you need to create, how big of a deficit and how you're gonna create it. And number three, you need to be consistent. You need to have these measurables in place. Use MyFitnessPal, obviously weigh in regularly and be conscious of if there's days where you have much more activity than usual. Leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Back in the YouTube game. See you later.